G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's. Today I'm talking to you about seasoning your camp oven. I've got a couple of different types here today, uh, the cast iron guys and the spun steel guys. The process of seasoning them is the same for both. You might ask the question about whether you need to season a camp oven that is pre-seasoned like these ones. Not necessarily, but it can't hurt to give it a clean and season it with your own oil anyway. So the first thing you want to do, particularly with a new camp oven, is give it a good clean. So grab yourself a scourer, some dishwashing liquid, uh, get, get some hot water and give it a good clean. What you want to do is get all the manufacturing materials off of these. So you've just got a nice clean bare steel or bare cast iron camp oven. So in my used camp oven here, I'll, I'll clean the inside. I'll probably give the outside a clean, to be honest with you. I haven't cleaned the outside of this one for a while, but if it's going into storage, it's a good idea to season the outside of the oven as well. It stops rusting. Um, so you grab your scourer, give it a good scrub on the inside and the outside. So to get started, what you need obviously is your camp oven. Grab yourself some oil, some heat proof, heat -proof gloves, oven mitt or these leather gloves, some paper towel to wipe the oil around and a heat source. Now that heat source could be a hooded barbecue is always a good idea because it has a, a, a hood over the top that helps um, circulate the heat around the whole camp oven. But you can also do it on a campfire. The first thing you want to do is if we're going to heat the oven up, put it on the campfire or put it in the barbecue at a low heat just to warm it up a little. So put the whole thing like this into, onto the heat source and just let it warm up. Once you've had your camp oven in the barbecue or on the fire for five or 10 minutes, just enough to get it warm, grab your gloves so you're not going to burn yourself. Take it off the heat source and, and you want to get your oil and we're going to rub oil all over the camp oven. You want to focus on the inside more so, that's where we're going to put that um, non-stick surface inside. The outside is more about rust prevention and that's going to sit in the fire and burn off anyway. So it's this inside surface here that you want to get a nice shiny non-stick surface on it. So you need your oil, you need some paper towel, tip some oil inside and wipe the oil all throughout a nice even not too thin like a liberal coating. You don't want it to be running right down into the bottom of the camp oven but a nice liberal coating all over. So now we've got a nice even coat of oil all over our camp oven, we're going to put it back on the heat source. If you've got a barbecue, wind it right up full, leave it really high. Put your barbecue in the middle of the lawn or something too because you can get a bit of smoke coming out with all the oil burning off of it. Now you can tip it upside down at a barbecue, you can tip this upside down, it helps water from pooling in underneath it. Once again, you can also leave it upright if you like. If it's on a campfire, you're going to have to leave it upright, put the lid on, leave it upright like that. Either way works, you just need to heat the whole oven up. Um, so put it on the heat source and you want to leave it there for 45 to 60 minutes just to bake away. After about 45 to 60 minutes sitting on the heat source, the inside of your camp oven should have a nice black shiny coating on it, much like this pre-seasoned one does here, which is different from the outside of this one here. So this camp oven actually needs another seasoning, but you can see down in the corner here, there is kind of a shiny texture. That's kind of what we're trying to achieve all throughout the camp oven to get this shiny oil texture throughout. Probably the most important thing to remember with all your research in what's the right way to season your camp oven is you can't really mess it up. If it didn't work the first time, just wipe some more oil on there and do it again until you get a nice shiny non-stick surface. And remember to maintain it. Each time you cook on it, before you cook on it, apply a layer of oil on there and heat it up. When you're finished, apply another layer of oil that's maintaining the non-stick surface on it. One of the things you'll commonly read about is people saying never to wash your camp oven in soapy water. It's not entirely true. I've done it for years with mine on the inside in particular. If you've got a good non-stick seasoned surface on the inside, there's no harm in using a warm cloth with soapy water to give it a clean. I wouldn't recommend submerging it in water though. The most important thing is to make sure you dry it, particularly before storage. So once you've washed it, maybe stick it back on the fire for a minute or in, in the barbecue for, for a little bit, just to dry it right out. And when you do store it, make sure that you don't just oil the inside, but oil the outside as well, particularly if it's in a moist environment and you're storing it for a long time. Now this whole process applies to all cast iron cookware, um, fry pans, jaffa lines, all your skillets, and you can even season your trivet that goes inside the camp oven if you like. Same process, just oil it and stick it inside the camp oven while you're seasoning the camp oven itself. So that's the basics of seasoning your camp oven. It's not a scary process, it's straightforward. You can't really mess it up. You're just baking a layer of oil on the inside of your camp oven. We got a range of these at Snowy's. All of ours are pre-seasoned. Uh, check it out at www.snowys.com.au. Free delivery, just about anywhere in Australia. Lowest prices every day. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.